guys it's monday a beautiful monday it is yeah i just got a lazy i ain't gonna keep playing with that lash i just got these lashes done but i want to tell you guys that i went to see mr loving yesterday and like yeah when i say it was <sighs> and the heaven gates just opened up and i was just like Walking through the heaven gates to meet God, but I was meeting. <laughs> That's what it felt like yesterday. It was just like, I don't know. Let me tell y'all why I say this. Because yesterday, like, he he has been trying to make me come without, without just talking to me, without touching me, without me touching myself, like, he just wanted to see if it was more of a mental thing with us. If our love for each other was, like, that deep. So, like, he had been asking for so long, and I keep telling him, no, I kid you not, I, I find any excuse, so I don't have to do it. Because I'm like, no, nah, I don't really want to do that. No, shit. I'm like, can we wait till after we get married? Because then it'll mean more. I just kept making up excuse after excuse after excuse. But yesterday he was like, man, you keep on telling me the same thing, man. And Mr. Love Voice, I'm tired of hearing that, man. You always say, uh, yeah, a little bit later. Can we do it the next time? Excuse me. And I always do say, can we do it the next time? Let's do it the next time or whatever. So this time I was like, okay. I just said, okay, let's do it. After he begged for so long, he looked at so handsome begging. So... After he begged for forever, I was like, okay, I'll last 30 minutes. So, he was like, all right, what you want to uh, role play? Because we had to role play it out. Like, and my fantasy is to get fucked by two dudes. So, like, God, my cheekbones hurt so bad because this is all I've been doing is smiling. <laughs> I kid you not, since I left, I've been smiling. So, uh... He was like, okay, so we role played it out, and he was just talking and just caressing my hands and massaging my hands, and he was just going through the details of he, him in the bathroom, the dude come in the room, don't say nothing to nobody, don't look, don't do nothing, just come over there, stick his dick in me, I'm laying in the bed, I'm drunk, I feel a difference because I know my husband dick, but I feel a difference. It was just juicy, y'all. I was just like, oh. It was like, and I'm pulling your heart while he fucking you from the back. And I'm sucking on your titties. I was just like, Lord. <laughs> I was for but That was just a fantasy of mine. But, um. It was, it was amazing. Y'all know how, like, when... It's like flashing lights for a movie to premiere the movie and the movie name in the little middle of the screen is flashing lights all around it. That's how it was. And I was just sitting there staring at him like, I love you so much. I could not stop staring at him. Like, <laughs> all I was doing was staring at him. And I was like, wow, this is going to be my husband. And I finally came without nothing but him just talking to me. So I know it's more... It's mental with this man, and it's physical, but we have reached another level of our relationship, like, and sex is everything to me in a relationship. I don't know about the next person, but sex and communicating is, like, everything, and we, we get the communication down pack, but the sex, even though majority of the time I'm doing it by my, a lot of the time, a lot of the time I'm doing it by myself, but it means a lot, because... I come every time with him and then went home and did it two more times. Like, my body is drained, drained. You know how when you just like, huh, you just hurt. Like, your body just, it just don't know how to feel. Like, and that's how my body is. It's just like, it's literally, it's just here right now because I'm so tired of coming. But I just wanted to tell y'all that, that it was amazing. And he was like, you see how stuff work out when you listen, how good it be? Yeah. I didn't start listening all the fucking time because I be doing my own thing. I be like, come on, let's get to the point. Just rough sex me. Let's go. Oh, shit. But, like, when you take your time and it was just beautiful, yeah. I loved it. But I just wanted to tell y'all what happened on my Sunday because today ain't going to be about shit. My car raggedy as fuck. 
I mean, right now it's in a shop, but it's the woman said I need to start focusing on all the shit that I, I have accomplished and not the shit that's all the stuff that's going wrong because he like, you don't give yourself enough credit. You doing hella shit that a lot of bitches don't want to do. I'm like, yeah, but I haven't did and I haven't did too much of nothing to me. He like, he, in his eyes, he like, I done did a lot. But in my eyes, I'm like, shit, I ain't even finished school yet. I don't got my own apartment. I got a car. I got to take care of my kids. Like the shit that I'm doing, I don't have no choice to do. But he's my uplifter. He makes me feel positive about everything. He's like, I don't want no woman that's constantly down on her damn self. I ain't finna marry you if you're gonna keep down on yourself. And now every time I talk to you, you just be like, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. Because the bitch be tired. Shit. <laughs> but that's all, yeah. I guess I'll make a video. Because I got a lot to do today at work. So I guess I'll make a video probably. No, nah, tonight I got a braid. I can make a video of the new. Because I'm doing a thick, thick braids. I can make a video and show y'all how that kind of look. I know y'all getting tired of that shit. Y'all probably want to hear some juicy, juicy, juicy shit. But I do a throwback moment of the juiciness. Talk to you guys later.